My name is Sherry Mueller, and I graduated in 1965 and serve as a senior adjunct professor now at SIS. And I'm Mark Overman, a graduate of the class of 2005, and I'm now Vice President of External Affairs at InterExchange, an international education nonprofit. One of my very favorite experiences when I was an undergrad at AU was the opportunity to witness President John F. Kennedy um, giving his, the commencement address. I volunteered to give out programs just because I really wanted to be present to hear the president speak. And I invite each of you to read his eloquent words because he focused on the quest for peace and the need to make the world safe for diversity. And those values really inform my career in international education and exchange all of these years. Mark, um, do you have a particular favorite memory of your time on campus? Yeah, yeah, I mean, lots of great memories here, but honestly my most formative was meeting you, Sherry. Um, <laughs> you, I'm sure you remember you came to campus to do a talk about international exchange and cultural diplomacy, citizen diplomacy, topics that were of great interest to me. So I came, I introduced myself afterwards, it was a great presentation. One thing led to another, I followed up, got an internship with Global Ties US, which you were running at the time, and honestly that moment was the start of my whole career, and you being such an important mentor to me. Sometimes people ask Mark and me, um, how did you guys get the idea for <laughs> co-authoring Working World, and I will tell you very candidly that I wanted to find a way to keep you at Global Ties. <laughs> And I also had a mentor who was one of the deans of the School of International Service, Bill Olson. And years ago, he said, he would say things like, Sherry, do you want to have an article in my next book? Um, would you like to be a member of the Cosmos Club? And so I think when you, you've been lucky enough to have a wonderful mentor, you tend to pay it forward. I think it's such a, a wonderful example of the generosity that you've given me and so many other uh, younger students really trying to bring us along into the field and that has just been uh, incredible for me to have someone like you helping me with these opportunities and actively giving me opportunities to grow my career. Uh, that's invaluable. I realized that this career book, which is an intergenerational dialogue on what to do with your life if you want to help change the world for the better, was much uh, more readable and engaging because of our contrasting perspectives. Yeah, I'm looking at it and remembering all the sessions we had doing it together. I think one of the most useful things about the book in the end is it's a very practical guide to careers in international education, exchange and development, helping students really understand what those fields are and the kinds of organizations and job opportunities available. But also we try to highlight some really bigger picture issues about careers, help people to think deeply about what kind of cause they might want to serve in their career. And what the art of networking, the value of mentors, the way you think of your career is a continuous yeah. journey. And as we think about new grads and think about some of the advice that we share in the book, one of the things I think is so important is often we feel we have to plan out our whole career ahead of time. And in this era, where we probably can't even envision the jobs that will be available in 10 years, it's really important to help people understand that you only need to figure out the next step. No one has their career planned out. Um, it's really a series of fortuitous accidents. And I think that's so true. Um, and I think the most important thing is to really just take that first step and try to find your first accident in your career.